fishermen in Indonesia are searching for treasure. Mamat Effendi and a friend put on fins and strap on a primitive breathing device, a garden hose attached to a compressor to aid them in their hunt for underwater riches. Alongside the coral, brightly colored fish and other sea creatures they find, signs they're nearing the kind of thing they seek, an anchor, then a bronze cannon, then artifacts from what's believed to be the wreck of a European ship from the 17th century. For many years, the country's graveyard of ships has been one of the biggest in the world, with nearly 500 wrecks identified so far. And when a tsunami slammed the region just over a year ago, lots more were revealed in places like the Mentowai Islands that hadn't been known for any before, from as many as 10,000 that could be littering the ocean floor in the area. But items having been retrieved, there's a big question about what to do with them. The man financing some of the dives hasn't had luck in persuading his crew to pass them on to authorities. Since we were the ones who found it, my crew insisted in breaking open the wreck, getting the treasure and selling it to the antique shops. I don't want to do that. For me, money is less valuable than the history hidden in the wreck. Arguments over which government department is in charge of marine salvage on top of a corruption problem have effectively frozen official attempts to organize and benefit from the treasure trove in the waters of the sprawling island nation. Those groups like us who are legal and have a legal company, we are not allowed to work, but everybody else goes out for looting all the fishermen because it's a big business in the antique shops. And that's the main problem. It's not only the value that the money they lost, it's also all the historical information get lost. But until and unless a chorus of criticism gets louder, historical concerns may continue to take a back seat to salvage for profit in Indonesia. And those who say they'd like to abide by the rules of what to do with undersea treasures are well on their way to losing patience. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.